today. It's gonna be an interesting day. I'm gonna try a little tributary fishing backwaters for some giant striped bass. We're gonna be fishing with a battalion pin rod and the battalion, or in the, I'm sorry, in the Spinfisher 5 reel. The rod's rated at 20 to 50 pound braid. And we've got her spooled up with the 30 pound braid doing a double double hook set up here one hook snailed goes down to a polymer knot and another hook these are uh gamakatsu 4x strong live bait hooks that your lead line's 20 pound braid goes up to a it's a big weighted float and the bait choice of the day is get ready for the striper soup special if you look down in here we've got some about 10 inch to 12 inch gizzard shad so i'm just going to take one of these down right now and uh, we're going to see how it does and again if you watch these fish they're just just a puttering around like crazy it is 94 degrees out here and i'm gonna put a little bit of water in there and i've been riding around with these on my trailer hitch for two hours and you can see how well they're doing so i may just scoop i don't want that one that's the big 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 one i'm gonna scoop this scoop the smaller one try to at least that's the bait of the day Keep him. We're gonna get down here and see if a big old stripper would like to bite. Of course, he that water's a little cool. He'll come back though. He's playing dead right now. All right, now the the walk carrying a big old five gallon bucket. Some of you people may know where I'm at. Some may not. That'll be left up to you to decide. Whoever said live bait fishing is easy is an idiot. It took me an hour and a half to get these. Two gizzard shad this big. And as I said, I've driven two hours to get to where I'm at. Again, now look at him. He's wide open now. The water just stunned him. I'm going to go down here under this bridge and cast the opposite bank here into the shade and see what happens they do this at an upper tributary upper tributary and that big old studs blowing it up all the time but see if this works this way well. well, they don't fall going out through here it'd be great if i do it'll be on camera I'm gonna bait this sucker up up here that way. If I drop him, he's gonna fall in the dirt, not in the water. Uh, first hook goes through the mouth and up through the nostril. Like so. Actually, I grabbed the wrong hook. Now you don't know. Now you know what not to do. First hook goes in the mouth up through the nostril. Next hook go right through the back. Not too low either. Turn it up. Make sure there's no hooks on it. He's rigged up and ready to go. Give him a second to acclimate to the water. I don't know, it looks like he's about dead, but there he goes. Now this little bit of weight here is gonna give just enough resistance to, uh, to 
create extra turbulence in the water, I guess you could say, or extra panic. Let's see if that'll bring in one of these big bad stripers, or it could bring in a gigantic largemouth. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip it straight over there against that. Against that side over there. Oh, goodness. Now what happens, now look, I lost my shad and my damn rod. I was barely flipping that thing. I've done it a thousand times, but big bait, big fish, big break. Back to the drawing board. Shall return.